Uh, it is seven o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do today, y'all, is uh, what we call a superset. So it basically means where we do two exercises back and forth, okay? So some of them, the second exercise will be for time. Some of the second exercise will be for reps, okay? So here are your first two moves. This first one is called a curtsy lunge, okay? And you'll see why, because you're gonna basically be stepping behind, all right? So if I step over to my right, my left leg is gonna be the one that goes down, okay? So I'm gonna change the angle just a little bit more just so you guys can see it a little bit better, all right? So I step over, I, it's basically like a lunge with a rotation. I step over and I lunge, I step over and I lunge. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is we'll do 10 per side. I'm gonna count them out for you, all right? I'll say one, one, two, two, three, three. And then as soon as we're done, we'll do a 30 second hold here. So holding either a backpack or a light dumbbell or kettlebell. Okay, and we're gonna do that three times, all right? So we will start with the curtsy lunge, which you don't need any weight for that one. The hold, where we hold the squat, I would recommend holding something light, like a kettlebell, dumbbell, or a backpack. All right, so we're gonna start with the curtsy lunge. All right, everybody ready? All right, here we go. Step to one side, one. All the way to the other side, one. Two. Two, try to drive that knee down, y'all. Three. And three. Good. Four. Four. Five, five, yeah, don't fall off that porch. Six, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good, all right, everybody grab what you're gonna hold for the bottom of the squat, okay? So kettlebell, backpack, or dumbbell. All right, bring it up under your chin. Ready, squat down and hold. Maria, if you will, spread your feet out just a little bit, hon. Right there, and then lean back just a tiny bit. Right there, perfect, perfect. Good, y'all make sure your core is nice and tight. Okay, we're holding the deepest version of the squat that you can handle without feeling it too much in your lower back. 10 seconds to go. You're doing great, y'all, stay with it. Five seconds, three, two, one, time, good. All right, stand up tall, put your weight down. Now we go back to that curtsy lunge, all right? Ready, and here we go. One, one, two, two, drive that knee down, y'all. Three, think of it like a lunge, three, Good, excellent. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good, all right, we go back to that squatted hold, so grab whatever you're using. Feet are about shoulder width apart, shoulders are back, ready, drive down and hold. Nice, y'all, good. All right, I want all of you strong women to see if you can go about an inch lower with your butt. Perfect, perfect, good, y'all. You're like, oh, you butter us up by saying we're strong and then make us do something. <laughs> they say flattery will get you everywhere, girls. <laughs> Seven seconds. All right, stay real low, y'all. Keep breathing. Keep that core tight. Three, two, one. Time standing up tall. Big, deep breath. We got one more round to do, y'all. All right, one more big, deep breath. Getting ready for those curtsy lunges, ready? All right, here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. 
four, four. Stay low, y'all. Five, five, and then really drive the knee down. Six, six. See if we can go a little bit faster here. Seven, seven. Good, y'all. Eight, eight, nine, nine. Good, y'all. Ten, ten. Perfect. All right, grab that weight. All right, ready, down, and hold. All right, last time on this one, y'all. Let's get into that deep squat. Look down at your knees. Make sure they're not out over your toes. If they are, you may need to send your hips back a little bit more. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. Those quads ought to be burning. They ought to be burning. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Good job, y'all. Good job. All right. While you're uh, getting a little bit of water, I'm going to show you our next two moves here, okay? All right. So up first is our one-arm row. All right, so uh, these two moves, you're actually going to just count reps. Okay, so we'll still do three rounds. The first one is a one arm row, it's going to be 10 per side. Okay, back is nice and flat, so we're here. Okay, so you do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. The second exercise, those of y'all that have bands, okay, elbows locked, wrists are down, you're going to pull it like this. Everybody see me? Pull it to your chest, but do not bend your elbows, okay? Keep your elbows locked, you're here to here, okay? Those of you all that do not have bands, what you're gonna do instead is either with a backpack or a dumbbell, you're gonna come here and do 10 pullovers, okay? So the pullover does not have a leg raise, okay? So if you do not have access to a long band, you do 10 one-arm rows each side, and then either the 10 back extensions or the 10 pullovers with a dumbbell or kettlebell. That answer your question, Catherine? Yeah, okay. All right, girls, I'm gonna have you all count your own reps. What I want you to do is to go through three rounds of that, all right, starting with one-arm row, okay, 10 per side. All right, go ahead and start for me. And I want y'all to pay attention to your upper body on this row. Make sure your shoulders are square to the ground. And remember y'all, those y'all have access to choosing different weights. Back is a big muscle, right? There are a lot of muscles in your back so we can use typically heavier weights than if we were doing like a curl or something, right? So 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side. Good, beautiful, y'all. And then you wanna keep that elbow in close to your waist as you pull that weight kinda of up and back towards your rib cage. Nice, y'all, good. And remember, if you're doing those back extensions, you want to keep the elbows totally locked. Don't bend your elbows and then pay attention to your wrists, right? Make sure the wrists are facing straight down. That's one of the other key things that tends to happen is your body's just trying to find an easier way. Good. So then, Chuela, you'll end up doing that pullover, the 10 pullovers. Well, I'd probably hold that backpack on its sides as opposed to the handles. It's probably going to be a better way to pull it over each time. Yeah, I'd say try that. Yep, that's good, girl. Good. And then Libby, if you will, and Maria also actually put your um, forearm on top of your quad as opposed to your hand. So what that's going to do is going to kind of flatten your back out a little bit, and that's the angle we want. Yep, good, y'all. 
Really squeeze that back, y'all. Really squeeze that back. Excellent. Good, y'all. Nice, nice, good. Maria, see if you can roll your wrist down for me. See how they're kind of up, kind of you're almost like your knuckles were facing the air. There you go, better. It's different, right? It's crazy how that little adjustment will change that move. Yep, and squeeze that back, Twella. Really focus on top of the rep. Yeah, good, good. And then Catherine, see if you can lock the elbows just a little bit more. So as you go to pull, try not to let them bend. All right, so it's a really a straight arm move. Yep, better, better, good. Nice, y'all. Doing great here. Doing great. Good. Hey, Catherine, when you go down with the dumbbell, don't go quite as far forward because if we go too far forward like that, it actually engages some of our front shoulder. So it's almost like straight down and then kind of backing up. Yep, there you go. So just think of it like this. It should never go in front of the leg that's forward. That'll kind of help you gauge it a little bit. Yep, good, y'all. All right, those y'all starting on your uh, back extensions, really lock the elbows, roll those wrists, really exaggerate that part of the move. We roll the wrist to face down. And those y'all doing back extensions, think of it like you're trying to smash your shoulder blades together. All right, you got something back there and you're trying to smash in between the shoulder blades. All right, if anybody were to be finishing up, what I want you to do is to do one more round of just the one arm row. Okay, so do an extra round of 10 rows per side. No back extension, just the rows. Good, and then uh, Twella, see if you can um, have your elbows out a little bit wider as you pull over. Better, better. So when the elbows are wider, Twella, it helps engage more of your back. If you were to finish your third round, go ahead and do 10 more rows per side. Excellent, y'all, good, good. Keep squeezing work in those back muscles. All right, if you just finished up, Maria and Libby, uh, go ahead and jump into an elbow plank for me. That's how we're gonna get all back together here, okay? So we'll hold for about 30 or so seconds to get back together as a group. Good, that looks much much better, Catherine, where you're not going as far forward, much better. Good. So if you're done with all three rounds and then that little bit of extra work, go ahead and hold elbow plank. And then Chuella, let me know when you're done with these 10. We're gonna go ahead and move to our next thing here, girl. As y'all doing that plank, remember heels together, glutes tight. Chuella's all done. All right, good. All right, that's time, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and move to the next two exercises. We're gonna be down on your mat for some core work here. All right, so if you need to adjust your camera angle, go ahead and do that for me, okay? All right, so here's your first one. These are called scissor crunches. Okay, so what you're going to do is have your legs out, you're going to slide and then sit up, right? So you're going to slide them out and you're going to sit up. 
slide them out, and sit up. Now, if that gets to be too much, you can have your legs higher in the air and do the same basic movement, okay? So, we'll do 10 of those, and then 30 seconds with a lightweight pulsing the top of an upper crunch, okay? So 10 of those, what we call scissor crunches, where we slide the feet out and kind of sit up. And in 30 seconds, where we do the upper crunch, holding a weight with our feet up in the air. Yeah, you shouldn't need that, Libby. Oh, you're asking about the angle. Go ahead and lay down. Let me see what it looks like, hon. Yep, that'll work. Yep. All right. Starting with 10 scissor crunches, I'll be keeping us all together counting reps on this first one. All right, everybody ready? Lift your feet up. Here we go. Slide them out and then crunch up. That's one. Good. Two. There you go. Good, y'all. Three. Four. Five. Good. Y'all doing excellent with it. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Hold something light, put the feet straight up in the air. And on this, we're basically going to pulse the top of the rep with your arms locked, trying to drive hands or the weight up to the feet that are in the air. Okay. So feet up, lock the elbows, ready, and go for 30 seconds. All right, the elbows y'all never bend. So the elbows stay straight and you're trying to pulse the top of that rep up nice and high. Good, good, halfway. Nice quick pace here y'all, you're doing great. Five seconds. And time. Time, good y'all. All right, we go back to those scissor crunches. And what you'll find on the scissor crunches, like you have to find just the right height to sit up to, right? You sit up too high and the feet hit the ground, right? So just try to find that just that right spot. All right, we got 10, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good. All right, feet up in the air, grab that light weight. Or if your weight's too heavy, you could always do this without a weight. Okay, ready? Feet up and go. Pulse in the top of that rep. Good, think about really tightening up your abs here for me, y'all. Really tight core. Excellent, excellent. It's like you're, just imagine like you're trying to get in those extra skinny jeans you've got, right? You're gonna suck it in and zip it up. <laughs> Five seconds. And time, good, back to the scissor crunch. All right, one more time on each, y'all. All right, ready, feet up. Here we go. One, two, three. Slide those legs out, y'all. Four, closer to the ground, the better. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, y'all. All right, last one of these upper crunches. All right, feet up in the air. Ready, and go. What we talk about, right? Tighten up the core. Make sure those abs are engaged. <clears throat> Over halfway, y'all. 
Pulse, pulse, pulse. Nice, quick pace, y'all. Come on. Keep cranking. You're doing awesome. Keep cranking them out. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Good job, y'all. Good job. All right. Up next, y'all. Up next. So we're still going to be down on the mat so your camera angles can stay right where they're at. All right, so up first. All right, preferably with a matching set of dumbbells, and as well, I'll show you the one with the backpack, okay? But with a pair of dumbbells, okay, we're doing a chest press, okay? We'll do 10 of these, okay? 12 of them, yards. We'll be to grab that pack and keep the elbows in tight here. Okay. As soon as we're done, everybody except Catherine will roll over and do 30 seconds of push-ups. Okay. So Catherine, you're gonna do the 10 chest press with something heavier and then have a lighter set of dumbbells, or you can do a flop, which looks like this. Okay. It should not be the same weight. Okay, whatever you use for chest press, you definitely want that to be heavier and the other one to be lighter. All right, ladies, we got 10 chest press. All right, so here's what I want y'all to do for me. On this chest press, think of like two or three seconds on the way down, and then just one second, kind of powerful as you press the weights up. Okay, ready? So that'll be kind of my counting, right? Turn the palms to where they're facing your feet. Yep, there we go. All right, here we go. One, slow on the way down. Two, slow on the way down. Good. Three, perfect, y'all. Four, five, six, Good, everybody looks really good on this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, all right. Everybody except Catherine, roll over for 30 seconds of push-ups. <clears throat> all right, starting in three, two, one. Go. Good, 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 good. Nice and deep, ladies. Keep your heads lifted. Twelve, you should be looking deeply into the camera's eyes. <laughs> Ten seconds, y'all. Real deep, y'all, real deep. Challenge yourself. How far down can you go on that push-up? Time, time, rolling back over for chest press. All right, ladies. So those of y'all that have dumbbells, you want your palms facing your feet, basically, okay? All right, ready? Here we go. One, come down slowly. Two. Three, keep it slow on the way down, really fight against it. Four, and you wanna breathe out as you start to drive up. Five, there we go, good y'all. Six, seven, doing awesome y'all. Eight, nine, 10. Perfect, perfect, all right. Catherine's doing flies, everybody else is doing push-ups. All right, ladies, ready and go. Let's really make them count, y'all. All right, I'd rather you do six or seven really good ones than 12 or 15, we're not going down real far. So let's really make sure that we're getting quality reps in. 
I want you to remember, okay, your core and your breathing help with push-ups. So keep your core tight and breathe out at the bottom. Last rep. Time, perfect, y'all, good job. All right, we got one more round to go, girls. One more time. As that guy used to sing in my daddy's church. One more time, sweet Jesus, one more time. <laughs> and it wasn't even that good. <laughs> All right, last, last round, y'all. <laughs> We'd be back, me and my brother would be back on the back pew laughing, you know, when you're trying not to laugh and your dad's a preacher and the pew starts shaking. <laughs> All right, last round, right? Chest press, here we go. One. Slow on the way down. Two. Good, y'all. Three. Four. Good, good, good. Five. Six. Nice job, everybody. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, and girls don't go anywhere. That looks so darn good. We're going to do another set of ten. One more time, girls. <laughs> One more set of ten. Here we go. One. You can do it. You can do it. Two. Now let's kind of go quick on these last eight. Ready? Three. Four. Good. Five. Awesome, y'all. Six. I love it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect, perfect. All right, either push-ups or flies. All right, last 30 seconds and we'll move on to a new set here, y'all. All right, ready and go. Nice. And we talked about, right, I'd rather have quality over quantity. You're over halfway, girls. Remember to keep breathing, keep the core engaged. Catherine, really squeeze as you come in with the weights, good. Everybody give me one more good rep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, y'all, you can go ahead and come up. We're gonna be standing again, so if you were to need to adjust your camera, a couple of you maybe go ahead and do that. All right, so first one we're going to do is deadlift, uh, which you all know. Uh, and then the second exercise uh, is we are going to do a little bit different style of deadlift. Okay, so first one is regular, both feet on the ground. So you're here, right? The second, we're going to stagger our stance. The weight is going to be on the side of the foot that is back. And all I want you to do is think about sitting back and down, right? So if you guys can see, I'm gonna really exaggerate it. This is the leg that's gonna get most of the work, okay? So I'm gonna bend this leg and I'm gonna straighten that leg. And y'all see that leg, so I'll show you from this angle as well, okay? So we're here, we sit back and down, and it's that leg that's forward, that's the hamstring that's gonna get a lot more of the work. It's like 90% of the work, actually. Okay, so we'll do. Right, but you don't go all the way down on that second one. No, I'll, uh, I'll show it to you one more time because this is a brand new one for you all. <clears throat> all right, I'll tell you what I'll do, right? So if you get your feet lined up, you guys can see that better, all right? I'm about six inches behind my heel. The leg that's back, so it almost has this kind of a squatting motion, but I send my hips See how I'm bending that back leg, and this one stays straight, and then I come forward. So I bend the back leg, and then I'm forward. Okay, so bend the back leg, and forward. And you should feel it big time in the very bottom of your hamstring. All right, so we're gonna do 10 regular deadlifts. So here's, <clears throat> those of you, I know some of you don't have all those options. If you have the option, of a heavier weight for the first one, use it. The second one, I'd recommend either lighter or no weight at all, especially as you're learning that move, all right? 
So we'll do 10 regular deadlift and then 10 per side on that other one, all right? So everybody grab what you're gonna use for the first 10. Ready, shoulders are backing down. And here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good y'all. Eight, those deadlifts look awesome. Nine, 10. All right, so now we either use one lighter weight or no weight at all. So let's everybody do this. Put your right foot forward. All right, left foot is back to where the toe is about six inches behind the heel and hold the weight, if you're gonna hold one, on that left side. All right, ready? So as you go back, you're gonna bend the left knee. All right, ready, here we go for one. And then basically just try and stand straight up. Two, three, four, you should feel it big time in that right hamstring. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, switch sides and then Libby, if you'll angle your camera down a couple inches so I can see that angle and see what's going on. All right, same thing on the other side. So left foot is forward, right foot is back. Yeah, that'll be better. I'll be able to see what's going on now. All right, ready? Here we go for one, two, Three, really push the hips back. Four, and bend that right knee now for me. Five, six, seven, and the left leg is totally straight. Eight, nine, ten. Did you start to feel it yet, Libby? Not yet? All right, we'll play, we'll play around with it a little bit. All right, so here's what I want y'all to do. Now that you know what you're doing, so I can kind of help coach you all a little bit better on that second move, do two more rounds, 10 regular deadlift, 10 per side on that second deadlift motion, okay? And that way I can kind of help coach you guys and not have to count the reps. Let's start with 10 regular deadlifts. Good, good, you finish that 10th one, you go right into that second deadlift, that single-sided. All right, so try and straighten that right leg out, Libby, as you go back and down, don't let that right knee bend. So it's still bending just a little bit. See if you can really straighten it out better. And then I might would recommend you try holding it with a, a, a weight and then bring your feet closer together. Sometimes um, bringing the feet closer will help. So that one, remember y'all is 10 per side. And I can't really see it, but is your foot totally flat on the ground, Libby? It is? Okay, all right. Yeah, the angle and everything looks okay. It almost looks like you might be feeling it more in the leg that's bending more. Yeah, okay. 
That's okay. That's all right. So we'll just keep working at it. We're still getting some good work out of it because your form and everything looks good to me. Good, good, nice, y'all. All right, you finish that second full round. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and start your third round, okay? So 10 regular deadlift, and then 10 and 10 on that single-sided. So, hey, Maria, if you will, bring your left foot forward a little bit more. Yep. And then keep your upper body more upright as you push the hips back. Better, yep, better, better. That'll be a little bit less on your back that way. Good, hey, Chuelo, will you bring your feet in just a little bit closer together for me? And I want you to really think about not how far down you go, but how far back you can push your hips. Yep, so really push the hips back. And you could probably turn that backpack sideways, and that might give you the room you're looking for to go back. Yeah, see, to me, that looks better. Good. Good, good, nice, y'all. We're gonna take just a few more seconds here, y'all, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next two exercises. Those of y'all, anybody that have the long bands, you'll wanna have those for this next one as one of the options. All right, so as, uh, as a couple of you are finishing up, all right, so your first one uh, is a uh, curl, bicep curl, so any kind of curl. So with the backpack, with dumbbells, uh, a kettlebell, and then the second bicep curl is gonna be a 30 second hold. If those of y'all that have bands, I would try it with the long band. This one is going to be a hold. So we'll come here and hold, okay? So Twella, if you are doing this with your backpack, Okay, you'll do your 10 with us, and then you just come right there and hold your 10 for the 30, or hold the backpack for the 30 seconds, okay? So we'll do three rounds of this, 10 regular bicep curls, and then if you have a long band, I would recommend using that for that 30 second hold. If you don't, you could also use backpack or a lighter set of weights. All right, starting with 10 regular curls, ready? Here we go, one, Two, try to keep the shoulders real still, y'all. Three, much better. Four, that way they're not doing the work the biceps are. Five, perfect. Six, keep the elbows out in front of your body. Seven, perfect. Eight, perfect, good. Nine, 10, and set them down, all right, so now we do the hold. So either with the long band, or if we need to with the backpack, just hold it as well, okay? All right, we come to this 90 degree angle is where we hold, okay? So we don't wanna be down here, we don't wanna be way up here. Right here and hold, ready, and go. And if you're doing it with the band, bring your hands where they're real close together and make sure your elbows are out in front of your body. Perfect. Good, y'all. Good. See if you can go about an inch higher, Twella. Right there. Perfect. Good. Holding strong. Shoulders are backing down. Keep holding. Keep holding. And time. All right. We go back to 10 more regular curls. All right. Ready? Here we go for one, two, three. If they get too heavy, Maria, four, you can always alternate. Yep, five, good, y'all. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. Perfect, all right, now we go into the hold. If that last 30 second hold wasn't challenging for you with your band, all you need to do is spread your feet out a little bit. Okay, that'll add that little bit of extra resistance that we're needing. Starting in three, two, one, hold. So Libby, if you'll go down about two inches with the bands, a little bit more right there. And then Maria, come a little closer together with your handles, but I want you to try and spread your feet out a little bit wider. Yeah, better, good. Doing good, y'all. Squeezing biceps, shoulders are backing down. Five seconds. And I want everybody to stay with the exact thing that's in your hand for the next 10 reps. So don't make any adjustments. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, yeah, <laughs> three, four, good, y'all. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold the top of that 10th one. Hold the top of that 10th one. And you're like, I know we knew something was up. <laughs> all right, I want all of you all to slide your elbows forward like an inch. Yeah, good, 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 y'all. 10 seconds, y'all, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, good, 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 good. All right, y'all. We got one more set left to do, all right? So the first one, you're gonna have two options, okay? You can either, with, this would be with two weights, do tricep kickbacks, okay? Or you can do our overhead tricep, which is here, okay? We'll do 10 of those and then, Everybody needs to try and find something, a bench. I got a cooler out here, right? We're gonna do 30 seconds worth of dips, okay? So if you guys will, find you something that you can use to do those dips on. So Catherine, do, so instead of, that's okay. So if you can't do the dips, that's okay. Do, um, so I showed the first two options, the overhead and the kickbacks. Let's do the kickbacks for the 10 reps and the overhead for 30 seconds, okay? All right, everybody got something set up for their two moves here? All right, so we're starting with 10 of either the kickbacks or the overhead tricep and then 30 seconds of dips and then Catherine will be overhead. All right, everybody ready? We got 10 of the first move. Here we go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Thirty seconds of dips, and then Catherine overhead for thirty seconds. All right. So you want to put your hands on that bench or steps or stool or whatever you're going to use. Yep, that bar stool would be fine back there, Twella. Yep, as long as it's pushed up against the wall a little bit. All right, 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. Good, good, y'all. Make sure you keep your back close to whatever you're doing the dips on, those y'all doing dips. Okay, don't let your back drift away. Nice, good, y'all. You should feel this in your triceps, a little bit of shoulders, even a little bit of your chest as well, y'all. All right, we're gonna go five reps together. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, all right, we're going back to that first move. All right, so either, uh, which I think everybody was doing, no, we had different stuff. All right, 10 of these, all right, ready? And here we go, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Thirty seconds on that next move. All right, ready and go. So this is kind of a, a smaller range of motion here, y'all, especially those y'all doing dips. So you should be able to get in a lot more reps because it's not real big up and down. Good, good, excellent, y'all. 10 seconds. Try to crank out a bunch of reps for me here, y'all, real fast. You can do it. You can do it. Stay with it. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Hey, stay where you're at. Go back to where you're at. We're going to finish with that move again for 30 more seconds, and we're going to be done. All right? Because it is right at time here, y'all. I don't want to run over y'all's time too much. All right. Last 30 seconds of work. All right? Ready? Starting in three, two, one. Go. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds and we'll be done, y'all. Let's crank them out. Crank them out. Lots of reps for me. Push, 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 y'all. Good. Hey, Maria, if you will, lift your hips up a little bit higher and kind of push them forward. That'll give you that range of motion you're looking for to go up and down. Yep, better. Good, good, good. All right, let's go 10 together. 10 together. Ready? Here we go. One, stay with me. Two, come on, y'all. Three, let's finish it. Four, you're doing awesome. Five, six, come on. Seven, finish. Eight, come on. Nine, ten. Woo! Oh, they should have been on fire right there, y'all. Should have been burning. All right, let's uh, let's actually start our stretching with those muscles that we just worked. All right, so one elbow up in the air. Okay, we're gonna pull on that high elbow. Pull that chin back so you open that chest up. Just making sure that you've got that good posture here as opposed to here. All right, so we're like this. And then switch sides, same thing on the other side, y'all. Same thing, right? Make sure your chin is not down here at your chest, that you've pulled it back some. Yep, good. All right, slowly come out of that. One arm across your chest. Shoulders are down in their sockets. And switch. Let's make sure that arm is totally straight. Yep, better y'all, better. All right, next up, you're gonna stay standing. You're gonna have a nice wide stance for me. Take that right foot, angle it out. Take your right hand, reach down to the ground. Left hand is up in the air. Yeah, so a really cool thing, I have to tell you, a really cool thing happened at the Gritton house in the last week. This is a brand new thing for the Grittons. Y'all see, y'all see my new, see my new fancy shoes? You may not be able to read it, but on the back of them, it actually says GTS on the back of them. <laughs> Switch sides, but that's not the cool part. So some of you all know this, I'm a fanatic for shoes. I have like, well, I'm not going to tell you how many pairs of shoes I have. I have a lot. But, but I love shoes that have to match my shirt. It, it's just my thing, right? So the coolest thing happened. So I bought these running shoes for my oldest son, Seth, and track, which track got canceled last year. So they've been sitting around. It's the same size. So it's the first time ever, right? I was like, he was, he was like, Dad, I'm not going to wear those. It's, I'll be too big for them next track season. I was like, they're mine then. I was so excited, y'all. I had bought a, my kid a pair of shoes, and now I can wear them. <laughs> it was awesome. All right. Next thing up, both feet together, cross the right over the left. Take your right hand, 
Reach to the heel of the right foot. So you've got that little bit of rotation as you go down and you're reaching that hand towards that back heel. And then go ahead and slowly come all the way up. Can y'all see that on the back of the shoe? Can y'all, it might be backwards for y'all. See, it says, it says GTS. <laughs> Y'all didn't know we had our own branded shoes, did you? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's do the same thing on the other side. So cross that left foot over. And then reach towards that left heel so that you've got that nice rotation for your lower back, not just hamstrings. Hold that for a couple more seconds. And then slowly come out of that and then stand with both feet side by side. Big deep breath in all the way overhead. Exhale and fall all the way forward down to your toes. And then what I want you to do when you get down there is just kind of let your arms sway side to side. Just real gentle kind of rocking back and forth. And then slowly start working your way up. We'll do that one more time. So big deep breath going all the way overhead. Exhale, falling forward. Just kind of gently swaying side to side and then come to the center. See if you can get to your toes. And I want you to hold on to your toes if you can. And then try to pretend like you're stand, actually trying to stand up, but because you're holding on, you don't. So you'll feel that a little bit more in your lower back. And then slowly work your way up and out of that. And girls, you are done today, y'all. Awesome job, awesome job. You did the first and most important S in the strong. You showed up, you showed up. That's when good stuff happens. All right, my ladies. I will hopefully see all of you all back on here on Wednesday, okay? Bye, everybody. Great job. Great job.